Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the opportunity to present my literature review with the title Update Endodontic Treatment Protocol During COVID-19 Pandemic. My lecture, Dr. Gigi Nur Hikma, SPKG Konsultan. Thank you, Doc, for your guidance. And I am Risnawati. I am resident of Conservative Dentistry Department, Hasanuddin University. Introduction Coronavirus Disease 2019 COVID-19 is a disease caused by several acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. COVID-19 was found in Wuhan, China on December 2019. The first, the first case in Indonesia was reported on March 2, 2020. Symptoms such as fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, also loss of appetite and olfactory disorder. The success of dentists in breaking COVID-19 chain transmission depends on three main factors such as 1. Knowledge and willingness to follow the health protocol 2. Barrier limitations such as social distancing, use of personal protective equipment, PPA, and etc. 3. Personal hygiene The content of literature review are 1. COVID-19 transmission 2. Route of movement and air ventilation 3. Level of PPA 4. Patient protocol the COVID-19 pandemic if the patient must receive dental treatment, it is necessary to carry out a 4.1 protocol before arrival, triage and teledentistry, 4.2 waiting room protocol, 4.3 protocol during treatment, 4.4 protocol after treatment. 1. COVID-19 transmission According to World Health Organization, WHO, and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, there are three transmission of COVID-19, such as a platelet. COVID-19 can be transmitted with, uh, between humans through platelet or liquid flesh that come out when we speak and can reach less than one meter. B. Droplet. Droplet is a heavy particle and can move more than 1.5 meters. When someone on radius 1 until 1.5 meters and there are speaking activity. Coping and igniting from someone who has a respiratory disorder, then uh, there will be droplet transmission through nose, mouth, or eyes. C. Aerosol. Aerosol particle can move with radius 1 meter horizontally. Diameter of this particle usual 0.3 micrometer until 10 micrometer. The dental procedure can cause the risk of COVID-19 transmission to be so high because using a handpiece, ultrasonic scalar, and 3 y syringe that support the diffusion of the aerosol particle of saliva, blood, and secretion. 2. Road of movement and air ventilation. Movement flow must pay attention with flow of patient and medical personal movement, which arranged by deep facial sense on make easy to understand. Patient movement flow at medical service facility must be arranged so can always keep the distance and no crowd. crowd. Clean and dirty air flow regulation must be identified and created a new flow so clean air can well circulate inside practice room. For dentists who use air conditioner should be pay attention how is the air flow. PPA level. Can this be at table 1? The level of PPA depends on job and function of operator at dentist practice room. At table 2 is a recapitulation of minimum equipment and material requirement according to PPA level. Picture 4. Level 1 of use of PPA. Picture 5. Level 2 of use of PPA. Picture 6. Level 3 of use of PPA. 4. Patient protocol the COVID-19 pandemic. Patients who come to the dentist office are categorized as asymptomatic people. So we do the protocol. The protocol are first protocol before arrival, second waiting room protocol, third protocol during treatment, fourth protocol after treatment. 4.1 protocol before arrival, triage and teledentistry. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it is highly recommended that patients consult in advance via telephone. 
regarding dental and oral complaint, termit teledentistry, picture 7, screening initial of patient during the pandemic and dental management. Question that can be asked during screening are, is there a history of people in the last uh, 14 days have uh, had any respiratory problem such as cough or difficulty breathing in the last 14 days? Is there a history of visiting area with COVID-19 transmission in the last 14 days? Is there a history of contact with confirmed COVID-19 patient in the last 14 days? Is there a history of close contact with patient who had had respiratory problem and cough during the last 14 days? Is there a history of traveling in COVID place? Who does the patient have painful touch and mouth pain, infection, swelling, bleeding, or trauma to the teeth? 4.2 Fighting Room Protocol When the patient enters the dental practice, the patient is directed to hand disinfection and body temperature and non contact the thermogan. Will in the waiting room, the patient should pay attention to the following. One patient should wear their face mask. Two, patient can read instruction about cook attitude, attitude, hand wash, and healthy lifestyle. Three, patient are also instruction to do social distancing while in waiting room. Four, patient companions are advised to to wait outside when the waiting room is full. Special protocol that must be observed regarding patient waiting room are as follow. Provide hygiene equipment, include alcohol-based and sanitizer. Remove toys, magazines, and other frequently touched objects. Install protection barrier between patient and medical personnel. Room in disinfection regularly and opening the window is good prevention. All surface that the patient may touch shall be disinfection. 4.3. Part protocol during treatment. Minimize aerosol action, but if required, aerosol action can use a rubber dam. Use of hand teeth will be limited, and if possible, dental procedures are performed with manual instruments. The use of saliva ejector with high volume can be given. Air conditioner must turn off. The room is sterilized using ultraviolet. Hand hygiene measure and complete with the six steps of washing hand according to WHO and five moments of washing hand. The patient rinse his mouth for 60 seconds. Avoid using intraoral X-ray because the K the can cause foggy and vomiting reflex. Work at 10 or 11 o'clock and avoid 8 o'clock. After treatment, disinfection the floor with 1% sodium hypochlorite and flush the sputum with 0.01% sodium hypochlorite. The CDC recommended using a portable HEPA high efficient particular air. Preferably, patients should only be treated in negative pressure room or airborne infection isolation room. Nurses should ensure to disinfection in any mat surface using 0.01% sodium hypochlorite or 17% isoprofil alcohol. 4.4 Protocol after treatment PPA doping is a technique of removing PPA. The technical steps of removing PPA are crucial for health workers to understand because when removing PPA, it a risk of transmission from microorganisms attached to the PPA is very high. The stake of removing PPA must follow the sequence of procedure, and each entry the following seconds must be presided by washing hand according to WHO recommendation using this infection. The step of releasing the PPA is one, other glove, second glove, two, shoes with shoes cover or boots, three, disposable gown or hazmat suit, four, glass or face seal, five, mask cover, six, head cover, seven, inner glove, first glove. Conclusion: Dental procedure during the COVID-19 pandemic, it is necessary to make change to, to the protocol at the stake before arrival, during visit, during treatment, and after dental treatment. Dentists include endodontists, so continue update information about COVID-19. Thank you for your attention, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.